I know, I think that went to like the 100th row. That's all the way. Yeah, it's, it's way back there, guys, I know. Th these are dinosaur eggs. Oh, what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> oh. You guys want to know what's in this box right here. Are you sure? I, I don't know. I don't think I can, I can hear you. You don't want to know. Oh. All right, if you guys want to know. Oh. It's a bunny? No, it's a spatula. It can only mean one thing. It's time for us to take a look and guess what kind of pancake art we did. Every single one of the pancake arts. You you knew all of them? Let's see in the back. What 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 were they? What were in the back? There was no yeah, there was a there was a there was a Jurassic Park. Yeah. What? Yeah, it was oh. on the screen. Oh, it's Zane! Hurricane! Why well, isn't this thing focused? Zane! Zane! Zane Hurricane! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pass right. that right I'm here. I'm trying to it. get it all the way to you. The 
this time. All the way. All the way. Uh, you yeah. ready? I am ready. All right, here we go. One. No, two. Well, let me get a better grip. Okay, give it. Okay. Two. I'm, I'm ready. For, I'm telling you. Three. Oh, go. Oh. oh. Wait, oh. it came back. It came back. It came back. It yeah. came back, so I got to uh, it's, it's good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not really allowed good. to get out of the locker. Yeah, that one bobbed to me pretty Unless good. you have it. Oh, yeah, You yeah. ready? Okay, okay. Yeah. On three. I, I, I got three. It. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Uh, boom, and boom. Boom. Did I miss? No, you were close. You I got, got it. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right, Bob. Did you get my seagull? Is the... Oh. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Okay, wait. So, wait, right. You talking about this, right? Yeah, I had a seagull sign. Okay, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some cool dude. He yeah. took me a picture. Yeah. And he wrote the memory verse on it. So, you know, maybe I was thinking, I think, uh, this is from Jordan. That's Jordan from Jordan. Borah. Yeah, he said yeah. it. A seagull. I hey, you know what? Why don't we bring him up? You want to go get him? Yeah, he can help me. All right, me let's with go the get him. Members. I hope you go get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ready and go. Go get him. You gotta go. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You can do it. Where's he at? All right. Jordan. Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Yeah, I gotta get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. All right, go, you, you gotta get over to the same side. You gotta get over to the same side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. All right, we're here. Jordan, can you do me a favor and stand just like this? Water. Perfect. I'm just going to take this really quick and I'm going to put it right here. All right. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for doing this for me. I'm going to remember it forever. But it seems like you know the memory verse pretty well. So you, can you help me do it? You want to help me doing it? All right. Sweet. Okay. Everybody, give me one of these if you remember the memory verse. Woo -woo -woo. You got it, Jordan? All right. Here we go. Now here's the next part. It's totally okay. It's okay for you to it, it is it is fine. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. If you need a reminder. Need a reminder. Give me one of these. One of those. You need a reminder. Okay. I, That's I, okay. I, I, yeah. That's what we're here for. Totally all right. We're here for the memory verse. All right, but this is how it's going to work. I'm going to say one part of the memory verse. And I need you and 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 you, and you to repeat me. Exactly the way I do it. Can you do that for me? Exactly the way I do it. All right, Jordan's got it. All right, everybody. Here we go. On your boogies. On your boogie. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Psalm. Psalm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you, Jordan, did you, uh, you see anything wrong with that? Yeah. What, what was wrong? I think oh. you, he couldn't hear you guys. We couldn't hear you he guys. He couldn't hear you guys. You guys gotta be loud enough so that Jordan can hear you, okay? All right, let's do it again exactly the way I do it. Exactly the way I do it. Yeah, I think they're getting a little louder. All right, everybody, on your boogies. On your boogies. Oh, wow, all right, they're going. We're ready. Psalm? 139. 139. 14. 14. I praise you. I praise you. For I am fearfully. For I am fearfully. And wonderfully made. And wonderfully made. Your works. Your works are wonderful. Are wonderful. I know that. I know that. Full well. Full well. Psalm. Psalm. 139. 139. 14. 14. That's the memory verse. That's the memory verse. Hey, good job, Jordan. All right. Wow. Hey, you know what? Let's, we got to get him back, though. We got to get him back, though. Oh, wow. You got it? You ready? Camera tricks. All right. We're ready. Okay, we're ready. Okay, we're ready to go All back. Right. All right, Jordan. You ready to go back? All right, let's get you over there. It might be a wild this ride. This is going to be crazy. We're going to try. You ready? Yeah, we're trying. Ah, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go,
First try. Here we go. That's it. That's not the one. That, that wasn't it. That's, that's not it. That wasn't it. It's not that one. Is They're it saying it? it's that locker. They like this one. That one. They said that, that locker. Like no. It's that one. Don't even try it. No. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, is it the, this? Whoa. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me try again. So you're saying it's not this one? Oh. No. But it's this one? Oh. Oh, you're right. That is the one. There hey, is. you know what? Hey, well, Bob, can you actually give me that? I, I want to put it up back at the beach. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah, need yeah. it back. You got to make sure. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need to take it back to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only way to get over here. You know the deal. <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks, Bob. Hey, I'll you're catch welcome. all you guys on the flippity flip. Everybody say bye, Zane. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. We got... We gotta do some digging here. There's another word. Let's see what it says. It says, def defend, defend. Huh, I wonder what this means. You know what, I think I got a friend who can explain all about what defending is. So let's take a look at Lickety Scrimps. Lickety Scrimps. Hey boys and girls, I'm Pastor Nathan and today we are gonna continue to dive deeper into the things of God. Today, we're gonna be learning about David and Goliath. You may have heard about this story before, but if you haven't, I would love to tell you about it. You see, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, we read of a story about a young boy named David. While David was tending for the sheep in the fields, King Saul and his army was getting ready to go into a huge fight and battle against the enemy. The enemy was the Philistines. Remember, you have King Saul and Israel. They were the good guys. They fought on God's army and God's team. Then you have the Philistines. They were the bad guys, the mean guys, and they were all about to go up against each other in a fight. Well, each and every morning as they would get ready to go into battle, on the bad guy's side, there was a champion named Goliath. Goliath was nine feet tall, over nine feet tall. And each and every morning, he would go and he would taunt Israel and King Saul. And he would say, hey, who wants to come down and fight me? If you beat me, I will be your servant. But if I win, you become my servants. Well, the Israel and King Saul, they were afraid of Goliath. I want you to remember, they were fighting for God. They were on God's team. God was on their side. Why would they be afraid of Goliath? Well, all they looked at was his height and how big he was and how strong he was. And they forgot the goodness of God and that God was fighting for them. Well, one day David was told to go give food to his brothers that were in the army on the front lines. So there goes little old David, the shepherd boy, coming to bring bread to his brothers. When he gets down to the army field, he sees Goliath taunting God's people. He says, that's not right. You know what? Someone needs to go and fight him. Well, King Saul said, whoa, 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 wait. There's no way that you can go up and fight him. Well, David, knowing that God was on his side, he said, forget that, I'm gonna go fight Goliath. So what he did, the Bible says, is he ran towards the field. He ran towards the army and towards Goliath. David wasn't afraid at all. When he saw Goliath making fun of his God, when he saw Goliath taunting, he said, no way is that gonna happen when I'm here. So there goes David and he grabbed his sling and he grabbed a smooth pebble and he went down and he challenged Goliath and he wound that thing up so strong and he went and he slung it and it says that that pebble went and it smacked Goliath right in the center of the head and Goliath fell down to his face and he died. Little old David went and killed Goliath. How did that happen? 
It happened because David had the obedience to go and fight to defend God. He wasn't going to allow the enemy to make fun of who his God is. He was going to make sure that he would go and fight that battle because he knew that God was on his side. David was willing to live out the word of God and be obedient because he knew how faithful God is. Boys and girls, God is faithful to us. And because of that, we should want to go and desire to go and defend the word of God, no matter where we go or who we interact with. Boys and girls, don't be afraid. God is with you today. From the last, I got, oh man, did you guys hear that? I think I heard something coming from inside the mummy thing. I'm scared, I gotta defend myself. That's what it means, I know I gotta defend myself. I'm gonna defend it against the, against the thing. Uh, it's, I hear it, I hear it. There's something moving in there. Whoa, I can whoa, hear it. whoa, 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 wait, what's going on? Pastor Nathan, I'm so glad you're here. Be careful, don't stand what's by wrong? the thing. I think I heard it move, so I'm trying to defend us from it. This thing? Yeah. Oh no, this is just a statue. There's nothing to worry about. But, but you told us we have to defend, and, and I, it was, I think That's I not it. exactly what I was talking about. That, that wasn't it? No. Oh. You see, boys and girls, when David went and defended God, just like us, we, wanted, we should desire to defend God, to defend the things that God loves. Okay. David loved God. And okay. so when Goliath was talking about his God, he said, no way, that's not going to happen. I love God too much. And see, when we defend God, it's because we should want to honor the things that God loves. You know, Bob, let me tell you, how many of you boys, go to, girls, go to school? I think everyone in here goes to school. How many of you have ever seen maybe a friend or someone at school getting picked on, maybe during recess or lunch? You know, if we want to defend God, it means defending the things that God loves and what God desires for us, right? Okay. So if we see a friend getting picked on, what do you think God wants us to do? He wants us to go, I heard the word, go and help them. It's our job to stand up for what is right and what God desires. You know, the Bible says to go and love your neighbor. So when we see someone getting picked on, it's our job to go and say, hey, that's not cool. Stop making fun of them or stop picking on them. Or maybe, how many of you guys have a cousin? Does anybody have a cousin? Maybe you go and you hang out at your cousin's house and your cousin wants you to get into some things that you know you shouldn't be doing. Maybe going and playing in the backyard or climbing a wall and you know your mom and dad doesn't want you to do that, but your cousin instigates and says, hey, come on, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Well, you know what was right. The word of God says to honor your mom and dad. So if we want to defend the word of God, the right thing to do, Bob, is to say, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to listen to my mom and my dad. That's what defending God looks like. Bob? Uh, okay. I, I, th I think I got it a little mixed up there. Yeah. I, was, I, was, there, yeah, I don't think there's You see, Goliath physically fought. But we defend God through our faith and through our actions. Uh, okay. That That's makes, how we defend God, Bob. That makes way more sense. Yes. Speaking of understanding. Yes. I, I have a question. I don't know if you, I know you're good with words. Okay. I've been trying to figure out the secret word. I don't know if you can help me out with it. Well, what do we but, got? Uh, I have an S. We have a S. I have a U. And then there's, I have another one. And it's. Here's the it's third, the third one. Letter. But I don't know if this is a word or if I, I should be looking for another one. Sus. 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 I sus. Sus. Oh. How many more days do you have left? We got two more. We got two more days. Two more days, which okay. means how many more letters, boys and girls? I think, I think two, two more. Two more. Two more letters. But I think, I think I got it. Yeah. S U S 
That's us. That's three letters. Yeah. Which reverts it back down to one word. Okay. And I heard you have one more video for us. I do. We have one more video. It's really important, Bob. Okay. This video is about someone here who maybe needs to accept Jesus into their heart. Oh, man. That um, sounds amazing. Yeah. So let's take a look at the last bite. Boys and girls, we learned that David was obedient to God. But in order to be obedient to God, you have to know who God is. And you may be here today and you never accepted Jesus into your life. You've never given your life to Jesus, but today is the day that you say, I want Jesus to come into my heart. I want Jesus to come into my life. I wanna be like David and I wanna live for God. If that's you, then I'm just gonna ask that you do the ABCs of salvation. Salvation is simply asking Jesus into your life. The A is for accept. In order to be saved and accept Jesus into your life, all you have to do is simply accept that Jesus died on the cross for you. He loves you so much that God sent his son to die for us and our sins. The B is for believe. There's nothing that you have to do. There's no works that you have to perform. There's no chores that you have to go and do. All you have to do is believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again and you will be saved. And the C simply represents confess. Open your mouth and confess that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. Boys and girls, will you say this prayer with me? Dear God, I ask you, to come into my heart. I ask you to cleanse me and make me whole. I confess that Jesus is Lord of my life today. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, if you said that prayer, welcome to the family. Today is a new day. You are saved. We love you. God loves you. Congratulations if you just finished saying that prayer. We are celebrating. We're excited for you. But sadly, it's come to that time where we have to say goodbye. Uh, but until next time, bada bing, bada boom. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye, boys and girls. We'll see you real soon. Uh, yes. I don't know what the word is, guys. I just don't know.